Hey, what's up YouTubers? Lee John Blackmore here, super easy guitar. Finally, I'm doing no Nothing Else Matters by Metallica, if I know how to say it. I've had so many requests for this song, guys, and uh, the reason I haven't done it earlier is because there's so many good tutorials online. So I thought I'd do this one a little bit different and try and simplify it for you, okay? Before I get into it, I just want to say thank you so much for all your support. Super appreciate your subscriptions and your messages. Don't forget you can request me a song over on Instagram or Facebook. And I've done a Spotify playlist for virtually all the songs I've done lessons on. So I've put that in the link below. Check it out. Let's zoom in and get straight into it. So the first section is really easy. You gotta know the string names, E, B, G, D, A, E. And we always count from the thinnest to the thickest, one, two, three, four, five, six. So, bottom E, G, B, E, B, G, or six, three, two, one, two, three. To be honest, if you don't know the string names, this video is probably gonna to be too complicated. Okay, so I'm using thumb, first, second, third finger, second, first. Okay, then I'm placing my first finger here on the seventh fret and plucking. So that's the first one. And now the second one is the top E and the bottom E. B, G, okay, two, three, okay, second finger, third, sorry, second string, third string. So, seventh fret, double plug. Then seventh fret again, and then I'm gonna do a pull off. So a pull off is where I just hit the note, and I kinda like pluck it down. Okay, that was too hard, but so you might want to do it nice and soft. Yeah. All together. So I'm hitting B, G on the end of that. All together. Then a double plug. Itself. The whole thing. Then what we're going to do so this bit gets a bit tricky. Double pluck, so my first finger's on the seventh fret. And I'm putting my two fingers together like that, okay? And pluck in the B and the top E together. Now I guess really I should use my second and third. It's whatever you're comfortable with, okay? And with my second finger, I'm hitting the eighth fret, so I'm going. After I hit that eighth uh, fret, I want to do a hammer on pull off. So I leave my finger on seven, pluck it, hammer on, and pull off. You do it really quick. All right, that's going to take a bit of practice if you've never done it before. From the top. Seven, five. Again, double pluck. Five, seven, five. And I just slide down. I actually don't think about the slide, it's just I get to the next position, which is my pinky on the fifth fret on the B string, my third finger on the third uh, string on the fifth fret, if that makes sense. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna pluck. 
pluck the A string, the G, and the B. So plucking three strings together, the fifth, the third, and the second string. Then I'm going to put, I'm going to leave this shape and put my first finger in the second fret on the top E. It's a bit of a stretch here, and do a pull off. Second fret and pull off to open. So at the end, after that pull off, I go back down, B, G, and then A, G, B, top E. Then we've got this pluck. So I'm plucking the A, G, B, and top E all together. Then I'm putting my first finger on the second fret on the A string, plucking everything again and moving it up to the third fret on the A. Then I hit G B. Then I move the first finger to the third fret on the top E. Then I do another pull off there. So let's go back a bit. Then I'm going to triple pluck again, or double pluck actually. So I'm going to, my first finger goes back on that third fret on the A string, and I'm plucking the A, the G, and the B. And I'm moving that whole section, that whole shape, up two frets. So it's the same thing, but we go. And then we do. So that's A, G. Let's do that whole bit again. So now we want to learn this, okay? The first one's top E, the fifth fret, hammer on and pull off. Okay, slowly. Then we do a pull off on the B string at the seventh fret, pull off to open. Then we do on the B string still, open and hammer on to the fifth fret. Let's go back to pluck pluck.
hit the bottom E. Then we've got our harmonics, bottom E, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12. So that harmonics, not in between, normally we play in between the frets, right? If you go to the 12th fret and play over the fret, so you just want to come a bit closer this way, and what I'm doing on the, let's do it on the G string, so you want that ringing out the bottom E, and I'm just touching over the fret, sorry, and then removing my finger, and this harmonic rings out. Keep on hitting that D string, because I'm full. And then the B string, and I take my finger away so it can ring out, okay? So if you're, if you're just getting, you know, you're not bringing the finger away quick enough, so it rings out. It takes a bit of practice, but you'll get it, okay? You have to be really delicate. So if you're having trouble, pluck the G string and just bring your finger close really slowly until it, you hear the harmonic. Yeah, hopefully you can get that. And then you know that's at the right position to pull away, okay? So hopefully that helps. Now I go into this tricky section, which is bar chords. But I tell you what, before we get into that, let's just do this section slowly from the beginning, okay? So here we go. That goes four times, let's imagine we've done that. Here we go. So then we're into bar chords. Now, if you can't do bar chords, I'm gonna show you an easy version in a second. Let me just show you the bar chords, what I'm doing. Okay, that's one way of doing it. So it's just this bar chord shape, except I'm not touching the bottom E. So this is kind of like um, an easy version. If you don't wanna go, if you don't wanna use all those fingers like that, you can just use the thumb and in classical music, we have something that's called a rest position. And that's when we pluck a note and we rest it on the string below. So I'm going rest, 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 pluck, or strum rather. Rest, 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 strum. So the strum, I'm just strumming the B and the top E string. So that's how I'm getting that sound. goes down to D major, C major, back up to E minor. I was doing it like that at the beginning. So that's pretty much the same thing except I'm going thumb, thumb, finger, 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 and my last one, my third finger, I'm just doing a little upstroke on the top E and B. So doing the same there. Then it goes to G and B major. Back to the riff. It'll be an E minor really, okay. So 
If you can't do bar chords, there's good news, you can play open chords. E minor, D, C. You see what I'm doing there with my thumb? Strum. So then from the D string, then from the A string. G, B7. Back to the riff. Then on the bottom E string, I'm going 3, 2, O. E minor, D, C. So the strumming, down, up, down, up, down. Up, down, up, D, down, up, down, up, C, down, up, down, up. Three, two, O, oh. up, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Riff. So it's exactly the same chords. Okay, just played open. Now then the chorus is C, A, D. So the rhythm is down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. So on the D chord, I do something a little bit different. Um, I'm adding these suspended notes. Okay, so what it is, never care for what they, ne never, so it's so a normal D, never, down, up, never, cared, D sus4, 4, four normal D, what, D sus2, they, normal D, So there you have it guys, hope you enjoyed this week's lesson. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell button if you want the weekly updates. I do these lessons every single week. Wow. Uh, you can send me a request over on Instagram or Facebook and I'll see you again the same time next week. Enjoy. Enjoy.